Hello, Internet, and welcome back to Anti Heroes Anonymous, or welcome for the first time if it's your first time joining us. I'm Kay, and I'm the Dungeon Master for this fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons show. <laughs> we premiere episodes on YouTube every Monday at 7 p.m. Pacific, and before we go any further, I almost forgot to let you guys introduce yourself. So, Nick, take it away. Uh, hi, I'm Nick. I play Easter Selberg, the human Archfey patron warlock. I'm Ethan. I play Zofdal Zof Zephyrax, um, the Dragonborn Graviturgy Wizard. Hi, I'm Zach, and I play Bonks the Bugbear Barbarian. Hi, I'm Melissa. I play Angelica Jacobson, who is a fearful Jewett. Yeah, so we premiere our episodes on YouTube on Mondays at 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, tonight we are continuing our adventure uh, from the Explorer's Guide to Wildmount as part of our off and on uh, campaign set in Alexandria. Um, I said last week that this might be the last episode, but I think we're probably going to have one more after this. Very likely. Uh, hang in there. Uh, the character portraits on the stack cards that are right over that way are by an artist named Tay Kel. Yeah, that's me. Uh, check the video description for links and information about our campaign, but also for Black Lives Matter resources. Follow us on Twitter at Anti Heroes Anon. Anti Heroes Anon uh, for news and updates. And last but not least, not but, but not me. last but not least <laughs> Woo, enjoy the show share it with your friends please come back and watch some more i'm not ready for this tonight you guys i've been speaking japanese all day my english has suffered as a result <laughs> okay Whew. let's dive in to a recap 17 days ago a group of misfits attended the funeral of an explorer named Ergon Wen, who had returned from the wilds of Isilcross with wondrous treasures and a terminal disease known as Frigid Woe. Several others in Ergon's hometown of Pale Bank Village were also infected, but may still be saved. Now the group has retraced Ergon's steps to an Aeorian ruin known as Sol Salt in search of a cure. After battling the remnants of the old civilization, including a pair of animated armors and several zombies, the group met the undead form of Feral Sol himself, who refused to part with his work. The group put him to rest permanently, but their work here won't be finished until they find the answers. Now we left off last week in Feral's laboratory, where Bonks had just delivered the final blow to the undead scientist. As Feral slumped Against the wall, he cried out, But my legacy, I was going to make them pay. And he fell limp, held up only by Bonk's silver palm. And then it what became Bonk's fault. It became Bonk's fault. That's not canon. <laughs> it is now. I'm what would you all it. like to do? <laughs> I'm going to put some signage up for the new Bonk's fault. Bonk's fault. Uh, Zof, Zof walks up to Bonk's puts uh, their hand on Bonks' shoulder and says, hey, if you just killed Saul, doesn't that make it your vault? Isn't this Bonks' vault? <laughs> Hashtag canon. <laughs> you might be onto something. <laughs> Let's see if he has a business card and I can change it with my own. I'll check his body. <clears throat> uh, I guess since Zof is there, Zof will help. Okay, roll an investigation check. I shall. That's pretty good. That is a 17. You find nothing! Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> you find a welcome map, and you can, it's like a fill in your own name type of thing. <laughs> welcome um, to... He's got a handful of just like, like crumpled up notepad papers in his pockets, but okay. he also has two keys. OK. Um, I guess I'll just snatch everything and start. Since uh, Zof is right there helping me, maybe we'll we'll unfold these papers and we'll look at the keys together and call the people over and see if we can't identify what these go to or what they're for. Um, uh, the papers, Easter. Well, I was just going to say the papers will probably be in Draconic, so it makes sense that Bonks and Zof would look at them together. Sure. And then maybe uh, Angelica and Easter can see if there's anything keyworthy. Well, well, Easter is gonna... going to... Um, 
because she saw Zof um, flinging around uh, at least one vial of um, frigid woe, is going to look for more. And I'm going to try to look to see if there's the antidote somewhere among all this junk. Cool. Okay. Um, so <laughs> that was a lot. So, Box and mm -hmm. Zof are looking at the keys and the note paper. Yes. Uh, what are you doing first? Well, the keys are just keys, so yeah, you're trying so to read the, the notes. notes. To the notes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so one of you can roll a straight intelligence check. That's probably me. Definitely. No offense, Bonks, but I'm pretty yeah, good at intelligence. No, please, please do this one. Um, can I take advantage for Bonks helping me? Yes. And guidance? Well, no guidance because you're doing your own thing right now. It's really good. Okay. But you can guidance yourself then. Yeah. That's okay. I rolled really well. That's a 21. Sweet. So smart. All right. I'm going to send you a, a hangout cyan to the two of you to let you know what you find. Okay. They are a wizard. When you when you want to make an intelligence roll, it's between the wizard and the barbarian. Absolutely. <laughs> this guy gets it. But if the barbarian can help the wizard, yeah. perfect. While I am doing this, uh, Easter, you were looking for vials of Bridget Wells, so I'll have you make an yeah. investigation check. And Angelica, you were looking for the antidote, so you also need to make an investigation check. And if you want to guidance yourself, you can. I got an 18 on my investigation. Hold on to that for just a second. Mm -hmm. I'm holding on to it. Nice. <laughs> Did I mention that people from the Feywild <laughs> are incurable pranksters? <laughs> you can talk amongst yourselves, you know, while I'm doing yeah. this too. I was getting ready to read something. Easter probably actually like isn't talking to anyone. Easter's I think like hoping that no one is going to notice her stealing files of frigid water. Why don't you also make a stealth check? Though? Yeah, I think okay. that Bonks might ask Zof and be like, "Do you really think we can change the name of this place to Bonks Vault? How would you?" Well, I mean, that? if it was Saul's Vault to begin with, and now Saul's dead, I mean, depending on how many other inhabitants within this vault lay claim to it. I mean, I don't know too much about how property laws work up here in Isilcross, but it's pretty wild, so I think that means it's your vault. Okay. Hey, guys, I think I know why they call it Frigid Woe now. Why is that? Because when, when you see what happens to people, you just stop dead in your tracks and go, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right, Good so one, Scout. Easter, your intelligence check was... Uh, my investigation was an 18, Thank and you, my stealth check was a big fat six. All right, so I think... Of the, of the two of them, I would have rather succeeded on the investigation. That's so. fair. That's fair. I think everyone's passive is above six. Even <laughs> <Fox>. <laughs> yeah, minus two. So, like, you're not... There's nothing sneaky about what you're doing. Yeah. Like, whether the others want to care what you're doing and want to like say something it's will be up to them but they definitely see you kind of looking around at yeah. the stuff that being said um so there are like like beakers and just other lab equipment um that i can't remember the name of because it's been 10 years since i took any kind of chemistry class but uh <laughs> test tubes, all that vials. kind of stuff test tubes like the concentrated pets. Graduate cylinders. Yeah, that thing too. Yeah. All over the place. Turkey um, boosters. And some of them are on Bunsen burners, like, you know, but they're not there called Bunsen burners in this world because, you know, Bunsen. They're Saul's burners. Saul's burners. Oh, you <laughs> got it. Burners. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> they're Bunsen burners. Uh, Bunsen burners. Uh, uh, yes. Bunsen burners. <laughs> Bunsen burners. Oh, my God. I, I just, I just scoop them up. For I just, bears. So I have long <laughs> limbs, so I just, I just scoop up all of the Bunsen burners. <laughs> <These are mine. laughs> anyway. 
of all the lab stuff you see, there are like some substances being currently cooked. There are substances kind of like in holding areas and in test tubes, but none of them seem quite the right shade that you're looking for. And you get the feeling that like, this is probably where like research was being done. And like, this is where obviously the frigid, some frigid world might've been made, but it doesn't look like any like finished product is here basically. Ah, uh, okay. So um, I guess you can do Angelica's first, but yeah, I wanted to have another me, talk with Zof. Which, which I guess is good because it means no one sees me stealing anything because there's nothing for me to take here. Exactly. <laughs> uh, nothing suspicious here. Yeah. Angelica, uh, you're looking around trying to find the antidotes, um, but you don't see any any milky liquids or any gold vials anywhere. It's all just these various shades of blue and green. And like I was saying to Easter, the same kind of thing, like experimental stuff, stuff that was obviously still in progress and stuff that looks like it's in like a big garbage vat of liquid. Yeah. Um... That's about it. Is there anything here? I want to look to see if I can find like a ledger of Feral Sol's notes. I uh, will just keep your previous intelligence check for that. Okay. Um, and uh, you don't find anything like that here. Okay. All right, I'm good to go. So uh, Zof and I read through these notes, these like scribblings and uh, I'll ask him. Them. Hmm, them. Uh, thank you. Uh, so this is very disturbing. Uh, but I'm, I'm kind of curious, how old do you think, how long do you think he's been doing this? Like, how old do you think he, he was? Oh, are you, uh, are you proficient pretty darn. in this types of thing? I mean, the very little I know about Aorian civilization is uh, that they were pre-Calamity, Age of Arcanum, which, as you know, is quite a long time ago. Uh, so this creature has probably been here researching and trying to develop this god-killer disease for a very, very long time. Um, I, that's about all I know. Like but a, yeah. It's been hundreds, at least thousands of years. It's been at least 800 years since the calamity. Like, do we even have to roll, like, a medicine check to check his body and get, a, like, a, you know... You can try. But... I mean, would that would that give us basically the same results? Do you think? Is it pretty obvious that he's like decaying and like? I'm fairly confident in my deduction that this uh, creature is at least you know 800 years old, just I based see. on the date of the calamity. Yeah, the current date uh, right now is uh, the ninth of Duala Hay, 835 PD, which stands for post divergence, which is basically uh, the calamity happened and then the uh prime deities left the prime material plane and put up the uh help me out Ethan the gate the divine gate the, the divine gate thank yep. you yeah um and that was called the divergence when the prime deities left the okay. uh prime material plane what was the year you said it was 835 so it's been at least 800 years since the calamity maybe and you know who knows how much longer before that like the age of arcanum was you know they how, say the, the first hundred years is the hardest it's the most trying age well i mean it very well might have been this creature was long since mad so the did the notes describe the was he targeting any specific gods or just like the gods, like as, as the most powerful beings? Okay. Hmm. If you want to roll a history check, one of you sure. with advantage if you want, or both Are of you. Are you good at that? I think I have, yes, a plus four. Would you mind rolling this? Sure. Zof has been the expert on AOR so far, so why not continue? Yeah. Uh, 19. Sweet. Okay, so what you know about the Age of Arcanum uh, is that the, the mages during this time who are very, very skilled with the arcane, they kind of saw, they saw their arcane gifts as proof that the gods held no sway over them. Mm. 
and you seem to remember a story about uh, the gods actually causing the crash of Aeor. Uh, so, yeah, all of this seems to track quite well from the bits that I know about Aeor. I know that they were defiant towards the gods, and um, some stories and accounts even tell that the crashes of the flying cities were because the gods, uh, you know, were fed up with their arrogant behaviors. And so um, the fact that this creature has spent 800 years trying to tr uh, create a god-killing disease is not surprising. So it sounds like it's more of an act of revenge. Yeah, yeah. He did say he was going to make them pay. I guess the them is the gods. Possibly. Hmm, it's also possible that this disease was in development even before the flying city crashed. So it could be uh, longer than 800 year project. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think next on our agenda is to find where these keys go to. But you know, that would explain why nobody was able to help those people. Like no clerics, no shamans or anything were able to do anything about this frigid woe. If this was something that was meant to work on the gods, no godly power could counteract it. A good point. Some good insight. Nice. Well, we have two keys, and yep. so far we know of two locked doors. Yeah, it's true. Let's go try it. Otherwise, um, is there anything else in the room that we should poke around and look at? Based on Angelica and Easter's investigation checks from earlier, yeah, there's okay. really much here. I wonder if we could stay here for a little bit, though. Sure. Take a bit of a short rest yeah yeah and then i also had a thought perhaps when we leave this room we torch its contents mm. they're unfinished products but everything here is dangerous so i'll allow it as the new owner of the vault <laughs> well thanks monks try and save the straight um, face but can't really Scout, you're the one with the fire so i, just I was really gonna say do i get to create a small fire i never knew how much i'd use it <laughs> you can do whatever you want with those friends <laughs> That's what I That's said. Funny. Yeah, I'm giving. Okay, but, but we're going to uh, take a rest first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, then go ahead and roll your hit dice or whatever, and take your short rest. Okay. I'm not kind going of to close the door and bunk yourselves into Beryl's laboratory um, for an hour. Uh, I'm not going to use any hit dice, but I am going to use my arcane recovery to regain a first level spell slot. Yeah, I don't have any HP to regain, but I do get all my spell slots back. Right? I have all HP of them. to regain. All, all of them. One, two? Two. Two. Nice. I'm going to use. Hey, that's, uh, you know, two thirds of the amount that I have. Yeah. So, so that is. I got my spirit totem back, though. Ha! We need it. It'd be very helpful. I come in handy. It has every time so far. Yeah. Uh, oh, did I do that right? OK. Uh, in D&D &D Beyond, what does the reset maximum HP changes during the rest mean? Do I need to do that or not? Um. I've always oh, no, I, th my... I think that's if you have taken hits to your max like HP. Like, oh, max okay. HP yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I didn't check it, but uh, it all looks good here. Which would have been a thing if you hadn't passed the same answer earlier. Ah. So our rest passes uneventfully, I take it? Yeah. There's. Okay. I mean, you can hear uh, a some muffled banging sounds from down the hall from that room with the red X on, on the door. But other than that, like nothing bothers you. And it's actually okay. very cold and quiet and serene in a strange kind of creepy way. Hmm. Okay. Well, otherwise? Um... Yeah, once you're done taking your short rest, uh, where are you headed next? There's one locked door nearby us. Should we try that one first, or do you want to yeah. go back to the foyer? Yeah, leaving the room, going down the hall, that one at the very end. Have you 
We haven't tried that one, one yet. One. But yeah, we know that but there's the, these two that are locked for yeah. sure. We yeah. know that the one across from the one with the X is locked. So yes. I yeah. would suggest we try that one. One yeah, that doesn't have the banging. Yes. I and don't feel great about going into the one with the banging. Yeah. Partially because right. like I feel like whatever is in there is causing such a chaos that anything that like how can there be any vials left in there worth salvaging? Fair point. Unless there's something Fair. else that's not a vial that's worth salvaging, but we won't know. We won't know. Be open. All right, so you go down the hall and uh, try the keys in the door. One of them works. Oh, OK. Uh, and the door swings open. And do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> you've never seen this one before, have you? No. Uh, rub rubble or bodies? <laughs> broken Rubbed. blades, broken blades, cracked hammers, frost rotted spears, and other ruined weapons are spread out across the floor, fallen from the empty iron weapon racks that line the walls. Hmm. Do you enter the room? Is there a way we can like check it for traps or something or Dangerous magics. <laughs> detect magic. I can cast yeah. detect Does anyone magic. have detect magic up? Yeah. Um, Mine is just a cantrip. That's my innate ability. How many times can you cast it per day? As many as I want. I'm going to double check that. I don't it's, my, it. it's my. <laughs> it's my. <laughs> Fear bowl. If, if that's not the case, mine should be still up. And if it's not, I can just recast it. Fear bowl magic. You can cast detect magic in disguise cell. Once, oh, once per short rest. There yeah. it is. But we just short rested. So you, you could cast, cast short it. rest. Oh, that's right. We short rested. So mine would have gone down anyways. Yeah. Is yours a ritual or is it okay. just? It is a ritual, so I can recast. But I'll, I can let Angelica do it if she wants to. That saves us 10 minutes. OK. Sure. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, hi. Wait, which one of those was the spell? Uh, both. I think it's still, she's still casting it. OK. <laughs> Claire looks tired. Uh... And she's gone. Yeah. That was in the room. Get with us. <laughs> Yeah, there was a there was one a baby, baby, just a wielding. single baby. Sorry, I was yeah. muted. Uh, but when she came into the room, she just went. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it was really cute. <laughs> I was like, "What an entrance!" That's my daughter. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, so what did we end up landing on? Angelica's using it. Yes. Yeah. As okay. many times as she wants. <laughs> per, once no, per I don't rest. have to roll. As yeah. long as it's only yeah. once per short exactly. rest, though. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Um, yeah, so the same thing. The doors and walls are radiating that faint aura of abjuration magic. Um, there's also... Woof. I'm not sure if this would show up or not. That's there are uh, five swords on the floor that are radiating a type of magic that I'm not sure what it is yet. But okay, hey. Are you done? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. That's I'm I'm gonna look up this the school of magic, uh, but basically you can see an aura of magic radiating from Few of those swords. Five. Five of the swords. Five of the swords. Hey guys, um, some of these swords look like they're magical. Should we check them out? Yeah. I don't even know how to use a sword. Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, surely okay. Bonks could do with a magic sword. It is my vault. I mean, I might as well look at my swords. Sure. So I pick up the ones that are radiating magic and I lay them out. Well, you try. Oh no. But you, as you approach, they float up into the air, and I'm going to need everyone to roll it. Oh, geez. Saw this coming. Didn't want to say anything, but I saw this coming. 
Yeah, I thought so too. I don't but... know what kind of magic that they. It doesn't yeah, matter, I guess it I makes guess. sense. Animated armor, animated yeah. swords. Whatever, <laughs> whatever, spell, whatever animated objects is. That's what I would say that the school of magic is for these. Yeah, I'm. I'm looking it up, but it doesn't say. Guys, I At didn't roll a two on initiative this time. Very I should know this off the top of my head. Transmutation. Transmutation. There we go. So it's trans transmutation magic. Um, well, now that we yeah, know that, I don't think we would have done that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the thing is, if, if anybody stepped into the room, they were going to attack anybody. Yeah. Mm. Easter says, Box, can't you call him off? <laughs> Do my best. <laughs> halt! Stop! I'm going to draw the map. Halt, halt! This is my vault! Yeah. <laughs> I own you. You are my magic sword. Need my command. I am Bugbear. Hear me roar. Hear me bonk. Here comes Pictionary. Oh boy, this is it. Oh, ho, ho. All right, so you're just gonna duck out of the room and we're gonna shut it, I think. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? A line. Yeah. Oh, no. A right angle. Hangman. A square. Hangman. Uh, it's a square. Uh, whew. Yeah, this, this is a box. Tough. It's, it's a box. It's a box. Ooh. It's a box. Uh, let's see. One entrance uh, sounds it's like a, it's one of those um, like uh, you know dot. laundry oh. detergent boxes that has oh, like a yeah, flap on the side that opens. You know. Okay. Okay. It yeah, looks kind of like a sewn edges. pocket now. Uh, yeah. Now it does. It's true. Yeah. It does look like more like a pocket. Like a blue jean pocket. Yeah. Uh -huh. but and then, then this is like is. A, a pen protector on the right side there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Oh. Really dirty. I guess it's. It's yeah. stippling on a quilt. Oh, it, that could be it. It's a pocket or with it's a like pen a protector covered in jeans dog hair. Yeah. Sky view of a construction site. <sighs> I'm too lazy to draw actual weapons. But Ants crawling around on a on a uh, sugar cube. Okay. Oh. Angelica is going to be like there because she is the first one that went in the room. I'm going to assume that Easter's kind of in the hallway still. She yeah, didn't I, to just, she didn't care. She was like, "Can we not?" Put oh, Zofran Bonks there. in there. Yep. Yep. And then. Bonks should be much more afraid of things than they are. I should be more afraid of things? No, oh, not Bonks. Sorry, um, Zo. He should be oh, more okay. afraid of Bonks. I think that's what he meant. Bonks right? should not be afraid of anything. <laughs> I'm like, what am I afraid of? All right. Do I have initiatives from y'all? Easter. 15. I roll Super Royal initiatives every time for some reason. <laughs> so? 14. Uh, box? 21. Ooh. Not a two. And Angelica? 10. Ten. Hey. hey. Double twos for everyone. Nice job. <laughs> but I'm the one actually in the room. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you're not the only one, though. You're just out in the front. Okay, then, uh, Blocks, you are up first. I mean, we could just leave, right? <laughs> we just, like, walk out and shut the door. Close the door again. I, yeah, after ourselves, could. Should we? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I mean, yeah. I, that could. sounds great to me. Let's do that. Let's do it. All right, can unless I... You, unless you really want one of these swords. No, not right now. I mean, what Take... kind of swords are they? Are they, like, really nice looking, or are they just kind of crummy... They look uh, very ancient and yeah, I don't fancy. Oh, fancy, but Bonks is not a fancy person. So uh, I think can I can I like grab and drag Angelica out of the room? <laughs> I like say Jeez. that because like that's what? like the mechanical names for the terms, but like you know, yeah. Fail her. I mean, she can choose to fail her contested check, but you can move at half speed. Would you? Is that is that okay, Angelica? Yeah, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna pull Angelica out of the room. We just took a short rest. I don't want to spoil. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so get ready to shut the door. Movement. We're out of One, here. One, two, three. All right. Yeah. Uh, Zog is still in there. <laughs> well, it's the sword's turn. Ah, I thought so. I knew it. it. Dang it! We, I thought we rolled well enough. 
secret. <laughs> well, the swords also oh. hold super well. Well, so, they shouldn't well, have. Dang it. You, uh... I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. I thought that was a really right, good come idea. Come and get me, swords. No, don't get him, swords. <laughs> swords, no. Oh, dang it. Only this many can get to you, so you're only gonna take four attacks rather than five. Oops. Oh, <laughs> we all died. No, TPK. Swords, no, 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 no. Stop falling over unicorns. Okay. All right, let's roll some dice. At least they only have one attack each instead of two. Yeah, at least that. Yeah, that's a six to hit. That's a 14 to hit. Uh, I'm going to, before you go any further, cast shield. Okay. So that's a miss. Okay. Then that's an eight to hit. And that's a... 11 to hit. Oh, so they all, all, they all miss. I want to say over. that was my Matt Mercer dice. <laughs> Rolling below 10. Runs so off, shut the door. On. All right. And it is Easter's turn. Uh, Easter grabs those hand and pulls them through the door. All right. Are you going to contest that? Will I take a bunch of opportunity attacks if I move now? It's force movement, it's not, though, right? It's not your movement. Yeah, it's force yeah movement. I think it's force movement, so probably not. Then, yeah, let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Zof just says, ah, thanks, Easter. Shut the door. I considered, right. I considered door having open. Easter step back and hit Zof with a force bolt. <laughs> and pull it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this is better. Yeah. <laughs> the door is still open, and it's so stern. Zof slams the door and casts Amplify Density on the door, Great. making it twice as heavy. All right. And uh, do we want? Who's got the key? I'm guessing Zof or I do. Uh, I think Bonks. Did. I probably had it. I'm assuming that you have it, Bonks, because yeah. you don't want to take it off with Feral. That's fine. That's fine. I'm just going to say for the sake of brevity that we are out of initiative. <laughs> okay, and then I will quickly lock it up and be like, that was not the right door. Yeah, I think I think Easter was like, quick, quick, lock it. And then a second or later, it was like, wait, they don't have hands. I think out of panic, Bonks just does it anyways, because he doesn't realize they don't have hands either. <laughs> um, so are we going to go back Oof. up and through the other one? Yeah, you can on put the, the paper on top of that, in, that room the again. Entrance. We're not going back there. Yeah, there's one door we haven't tried here, but I don't know how much I want to go through that I door. I mean, I don't know. We can just carefully. Yeah, let's let's be careful. Yeah, let's not jump into anything this time, Angelica. We got a little too excited. So not the uh, very upset room, but we'll go to the. So you're coming down here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can I roll a stealth check before I try the door? You Try can. and be quiet. Okay. Everyone can roll a stealth check if they want. That, however, is a nine. You still got an eleven. Seventeen. Dang. Ow. I got an eighteen. Wow. What's what? your stealth bonus again, Bonks? I'm proficient. <laughs> it's a plus, I know. It's a plus four. That's, that's what's funny. <laughs> oh, actually, actually, nineteen. I I am. Um, Oh. I got to add wow. one for my bonus. Look at you. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I'm just trying to figure things out, jumping around on the map. Okay. Oh. I say there's water in here. Rubble so of bodies. This uh this let me see this. Here we go. Uh I don't know how much better you can see that. But... It's fine. I mean I can see it okay. A little bit closer. Um the door is open. It's not locked, oh, so okay. it just swings open. 
uh, a cold wind howls through the collapsed east wall of this chamber. Uh, whose six. far side is completely submerged under frigid seawater. A dense bed of kelp grows uh, up from the submerged floor, obscuring any sight of what lies below. Broken glass and the remains of shattered tables cover the floor in the dry section of the room. Hmm. Uh, Angelica. Never mind. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. Just joking. Forget I said anything. <laughs> okay. Um, did you say there was anything on the walls? Uh, the east wall here has collapsed. Um, and if you still have Detect Magic up, it's the same um, same spell as you've been seeing on the walls and doors throughout. Um, there's, you said the tables are all kind of like shattered in here. There's no, there's no like vials or anything in here. It doesn't look like anyone was working in here. Are you going to go inside and take a closer look? Um... Because right now it just looks like a lot of destruction. I can, I can. But half of the room is underwater. Yeah, I'm gonna go inside and take a closer look. I'll go with. What are you? Are you going uh, into the water to look, or are you going to go up to the water's edge? What are you doing? Um, at first, I'm looking just in the non-submerged parts to see if there's anything salvageable here. In the non-submerged parts, there's yeah. like not really much. Okay. Um, Broken glass and shattered tables, and that's about it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look at the water and say, uh, hey, Bonx. Yeah. <sighs> Someone has a rope, is. right? Zof has a rope? Oh, I've got rope. Um, I'm here, let me tie, tie part of that to me. And, you're not going to go sure. in, are you? Sure. Maybe we should, like, check it first? Isn't it, like, really, really, really cold? Like, what if some of the disease was, like, dumped in this water or something? And mm. it's, like, you know, contaminated. I mean, look, it's connected to the rest of the ocean, right? Is it? If, uh, if, water, if disease was dumped in here, it'll surely have spread and diffused by now. But it's blue. And the woe yeah. is blue. <laughs> Um, is, is the water like opaque or is it just dark down there? It's dark and there's a lot of kelp obscuring okay. the view. Um, okay. like but, it first but yep. that said, if all of you come into the room and you're looking out at the water together, uh -huh. all of you can see against the back wall built into the floor and submerged in the water, there's a stone chest. Oh. And Angelica, now is the time that I can tell you that you can see four giant crabs hiding under the water in the cup. How giant is a giant crab exactly? Are we talking like? They're medium-sized creatures. Okay. So bigger than me. Pretty big. So pretty, the, yeah, the size is short. Wait, are, is Easter small? <laughs> no. Oh, OK. Easter's just short. <laughs> I see. Huh. Well, Angelica's okay. the only one that sees them, though. OK. I'm trying to look and see if I can change into, I can't change into anything that can swim, but something that will help me, like I can do like a lizard or, hmm. Can you talk to them? Oh, I can, I can talk to them. We'll go talk hey, to them. Hey crabs. Then. Hey crabs, how's it going? I imagine she's just like Are you popping happy? at the mouth and like bubbling and like <laughs> click, making like clicking a... noises with her hands. Are you enjoying your little um, nest in there? Right. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm reading Confused your clicking. Speech of beast and leaf. <laughs> you can communicate with, though not understand beasts and plants and have advantage on charisma checks to influence them. So okay. you can talk so, to them. They so can't. I can't understand them, but I, I can coax them into maybe getting the chest and bringing it out. Well, the chest is built into the floor. So 
so I'm not sure that they'd be able to do that. But you might be able to coax them into not attacking us. Yeah. Okay. All right. Friends. What do you say? <laughs> we are we are friends, not food. Please let us pass unharmed. And Easter is really nice. She might even pet you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so make that a uh, persuasion check. Uh, Can I help her? Funny. Well, she already gets advantage from okay. her pure vulnerability. So. I just want to imagine what that would be like if someone helped her. And I'm not sure you could because you can't, you don't have the abilities to speak okay, to them. Okay, do it like this. All right. Uh, okay, so I have advantage on it. Come on. And it's so it's a persuasion. I want to ride these guys. Yes, ma'am. Can I do guidance? Yes, you can. Ooh. Okay, so that is going to be a 17. Okay. All right. Well, happy crab noises. Uh, so as you're trying to convey this to them, um, and you can see that they're kind of on alert since you've come into the room, um, but after a minute of like you saying like, don't worry, we're friends, we're gentle, we're nice, they kind of let down their claws a little bit and kind of skitter off into the far corner of the room away from you. Guys. I see that. Oh, yeah, I put their... I put their claws on paws. <laughs> and then they jump out of the water and attack you. No, <laughs> um, let me borrow those keys in case that chest is locked down there. Can you breathe underwater? How deep is the water? Now that we can like sort of look at it together. How far down is the hard chest, to, I guess? It's hard to, hard to say. The chest is completely submerged. Yeah, but you can have the keys. Um, Hey, you Scout? think this is the best way? You might yeah. want to have a bonfire ready for Easter when she gets out of the water, though. It's it's can cool. do. Can do. Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I would worry about the two of you, she says, looking at Bonks and, and Angelica, getting her fur all soaked. It seems like that would be bad for you. Wor worse right. for you than me, anyway. And I'm cold-blooded, so. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't mind doing it. So. All right. Well, Easter takes off her furs and stuff and goes to dive down into the into the water. All right, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. OK. Can, can Bonks be ready to like jump in and help her if she starts like, you know, struggling? Yes. Uh, how does a 70? Yeah, not great, oh, no. unfortunately. So you can, um, you jump in the water and it's like, as soon as you like enter it and you start to submerge yourself and you can tell it's like, how tall is Easter? Uh, five and a half feet. Right, so it's basically up to your eyeballs mm -hmm. by the time you, you submerge yourself and it's so cold. And the shock of the cold is so much that you kind of forget what what you came in here for, and like your fight or flight instinct takes over. <laughs> uh, but you can make it to the chest. Uh, but I do need to have you mark a level of exhaustion, please. Okay. I will do that. Okay. Actually, is there a space on D and D Beyond for that? That's oh yeah, a great question. Can, can, uh, conditions. <laughs> conditions. There it is. All right, marked. Exhaustion one. Um, okay. Oh, that's um, kind of a cool little yeah. tracker. Yeah. I'm going to oh. see if nice. uh, the chest is open, I guess. It's locked. All right, then I'll start trying these two keys that we've got. All right, and uh, one of them does uh, work, and you can open the chest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And sorry, it's hidden behind my my tablet. Hold on, stop. Open. No, scroll. Thank you. All 
uh, it's packed with fine sand. And there are what looks to be about 20 doses of antidote. 20 oh, old vials dang. inside this chest. And okay. what looks like a art, an artificial eye. I guess I'll take that too. I'll take like something like very pretty. <sighs> yeah. I'll take the eye and like it's I'm, keeping watch over as it. many of these doses as I, as I can take. Yeah, you can take all 20. If you okay. Oh, nice. All right. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and, and then while I'm down here, remembering what Angelica said, I'll very hesitantly <laughs> reach out an open hand to the crab and pet it a little bit. Make an animal handling check, please. Okay. Oh no, Angelica, why did you do this? 16. Oh, 16's good. All right, so you reach out to touch this crab, uh -huh. and it kind of like raises its claws like it defensively, but mm -hmm. you move so slowly, and you can tell that it's kind of letting it happen. Uh -huh. And as you start to stroke its head, it kind of lowers its claws, oh closes its eyes, <laughs> and bubbles go up. <laughs> All right, and then I noises. return to the surface with all my stuff. Okay. Okay, yeah, as you start making your way to the surface, I'll need you to make one more con saving throw. Please. Okay. Uh, At least this they a, a powerful 10. That's what you needed. Oh, great. You do not gain another level of exhaustion on your way back up to the surface. Cool. At least they weren't giant lobsters, because they're notoriously difficult to deal with. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna need that way. bonfire. But... walk straight. Boom. But the good news is, and Easter shows off her like armful of and vials. I'll, I'll help her like take them. Yeah. Wow, way to go, Easter. Nice well, that's job. That. that completes the mission, right? Almost. 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 Well, what else do we need? I mean, we only needed what? Four or five vials of the stuff for the people who are sick in town. Well, I was thinking we should find a vial of this of the sickness too. Because I mean, well, he, hear me out. Hear me out. We have all this stuff, but we don't know how it works. If we had a vial of the sickness that was intact that people could work with safely, maybe someday people could learn to synthesize their own versions of the of the antidote. I suppose that's true. It's fair enough. Easter's lying. <laughs> yeah, well, go ahead and make that deception yeah. check. And anyone who wants to question her can make an insight check. Well, yeah, after what? Insight. But after... you're going to have to be the 19. Oh. After what she's been through, that's pretty cheeky. Yeah. Roll your yeah, insight I, check, then. I, I will. I'm going to do guidance, too. Okay, insight. Ooh, insight's a plus four, so that it already oh, no. is a seven. A seven plus a 15. I think I beat ya! You did. <laughs> uh, Zof just raises a passive, uh, a, a, an eyebrow ridge, and with does not roll a check, just uses passive insight and says, well, yeah, that's valid. That checks out. Uh Bonks is going to do something similar, but then also just be like, I, wouldn't you just need the antidote to do something like that? I'm not an alchemist, but, uh... Hmm. So, I'm going to I'm gonna walk over to Easter and whisper, maybe we ought to talk privately later. Okay. Meanwhile, Zof is talking to Bonks and says, actually, I think I read in a book one time that they can just... Uh, you know, put the disease into plants and things like that, and then they use the plants to um, figure out wh what sort of uh, things are needed to develop antidotes for these sorts of things. Ah, I see. Okay. So, I mean, I think it makes sense that a disease would be necessary to, you know, find the antidote hmm. to the disease. Well, I'm no doctor or skilled in medicine, but uh, makes sense to me. Is that where the expression oh, plant the evidence comes in? Hang on, hang on. Sorry about one thing. 
Mm -hmm. uh, I think I was supposed to make that um, deception check at disadvantage. <laughs> oh, because of exhaustion? Were you? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. oh. Oh, no. Well, my... Ah, uh, yes. First level exhaustion. Constantly yep. forgotten. <laughs> yep. I uh, forgot, too. And that's fine. Oh, but, but my, the second roll is even better, so Dang. somehow. Nice. Yeah, disadvantage on ability checks. I will try to remember that going forward. All right, but I'm done with this room. All right, where to next? Um, so how badly no... do we want to check out on that banging room? Oh, hold on. Was that all you found down there, or was there anything else? Oh no, there was this eye too, an Easter like shows the artificial eye. It's kind of weird, but it was locked away in this chest, so I figured it must be important. Um, Does it register and... at all on your special vision, Angelica? Let's see. Let me look at it. It does. There is, uh, I think it does. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm, really it's sorry. A I'm, I'm not. I'm not familiar with with the, some of these things. Found this this twenty sided eye. <laughs> yeah. All eyes are on you, kiddo. Of course, it would help if I don't misspell it in the search bar. <laughs> do, 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 do. It is magical. As for what school of magic, I have absolutely no idea. Well, it looks pretty and it and it looks magical. Definitely has a magical aura to it. Well, maybe you could spend some time with it and see if yeah, it's special. And Fuck I'll it just for now. Yeah. Sure. So as far so, as so uh, whoever oh, takes it can add an Ersatz eye to their inventory. Okay, I'll keep it for now. E R S A T Z. I don't know if it's in the the uh, D and D Beyond. Idolist because it comes from the explorer's guide. Oh, it actually um, I was just Xanathar's. gonna. Not I was just gonna those. put it in my other possessions for now. Was it also in Xanathar's? It was also in Xanathar's, okay. so it should be in D and D Beyond. All right, so then you should be able to add it to your inventory. Cool. So it doesn't look like there's actually an exit to this room aside from where we came from, correct? Okay. Yeah, the only way so into this room is the door you came We through. could, I mean, quickly open and close the banging room to see if you're curious or, aren't you box or we could just do that one last locked door yeah the one that the we one back at saw. the entrance yeah yeah i don't know about this banging door y'all i don't know I mean, aren't you just curious i mean i think we could close it fast enough and lock it again like the swords you can try <laughs> but where there's danger it's and there's potential for treasure. This, mm. It will forever haunt us if we don't go in, I guess. All right, let's get that's it. And if it turns out to be some sort of ghost or spirit in there, it might actually forever haunt us if we go in there. <laughs> True. So you're for going once, to the sure. room with the red yeah. X on the door? Yep. Uh, yeah. That I have uncovered because I'm an idiot and it doesn't really matter because this doesn't give away. Anything. Right, it doesn't. That's what I was like not too fussed about seeing it before. It's like, eh, it's a room. Yeah, it's a room. It's got some stuff in it. Yeah. All right. So without opening, I'll uh, I'll just like try one of the keys and see if it'll actually fit. Yeah, the same key that worked on this room mm -hmm. works in this room. Okay. So I do have a bad um, feeling about this. In case we shut the door and want to keep something in there, I will prepare my adjust density ability. Um, right. To cast on the door. So there's still a bunch oh, of. Man. There's still a bunch of like banging going on in there, right? Yeah. Okay. It has not lessened. Okay, so I'm guessing that if we quietly open the door, it's not gonna. It, it maybe it wouldn't notice because it's they're so loud, and this would be like nothing compared to that all that noise. Let's work together here. Who can see really well in the dark? Me, I can see extremely well. And Angelica, you can see magic, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Bonks, this is what I think we should do. Okay, you swing the door open. 
Easter and Angelica take a real quick look inside. Just be ready for it. As soon as the door is open, scan the room. And then Bonk, shut the door, and I'll cast my spell on it. And then we can decide if it's worth going in. Okay. Okay. All right, that's what we're going to do. Ready? Yeah. Okay, on three then. Or I'll, I'll do <laughs> we're all it on, gathered on around go. this door. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> three, two, one, go. <laughs> and I'll fling the door open. You fling the door open. As you open the door to this debris-filled room, a humanoid creature made of pieces of stitched together flesh charges towards you. And I shut the door. <laughs> Cast the spell. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I'm scared. What did you expect? <laughs> well, I mean, I expected that, but I also want to see what's in there. But did Team Perception see anything? Yeah. I don't know. Let's have whoever was looking make a perception check, or okay. you can. Um, I'm gonna have to make that check. Advantage, advantage if you want. I have to make a disadvantage. Or you can help Angelica then. Yeah. So one of you can help the other one, and you can roll. Okay. One of you I'll I'll be advantage. helping you then. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I rolled it. I've got, and I also did guidance, so Great. I got a sixteen plus seven. Oh, sweet. Okay. So in the brief moment. In the very brief moment that Box had the door open, <laughs> you caught a glimpse of this massive, hulking humanoid creature, and it was like something out of a nightmare. There were like just parts of just what looked like from random different humanoids just all stitched together like massively, and it was covered in just these massive gashing wounds. And there were pieces, broken pieces of bone sticking out at odd angles. It was pretty disgusting. And it looked completely enraged and just absolutely mad. Anything magical? <laughs> uh, only the creature. Oh, okay. Nothing else in the room seemed, other than the walls and the door. Nothing There's else nothing the else seemed noteworthy? To be magical. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, we're locking this one and going to the other room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, everyone. <laughs> Whew, poor, yeah. The poor creature, though. I guess I, I am curious if Angelica saw any reason to try that room. Like, was it to catch any glimpse of anything that's like, oh, that's an interesting thing over there? Little trinkets or something. So it was basically uh, other than just this nightmarish. Yeah, yeah. Like, figure because Angelica rolled so well um, everything else in the chamber that was visible like smashed to pieces that's kind of what Makes I figured sense. yeah same. just all the debris bits of bone clay iron like everywhere like anything that had been in this room at one point has been demolished and He's with the original all the treasure that you've heard well since you've been here you can tell like this creature has pretty much like Throwing a huge rager in this yeah. room. Well, better that stuff than us, I guess. At least the yeah. mystery is solved. Bonks, I, I hate to say it, but I think this is his fault now. No. He didn't. He didn't claim it over uh, Saul. Yeah, he didn't kill Saul. And that's true. like I said, I don't know much about Isilcross property law, but I think that's important. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking that there's not going to be anybody left when we leave. So I mean, it could be the crabs too. Does then, right? he get like squatters' rights over the whole place? I mean, I'll let him stay here. We might have to take this up with um, Morgo when we get oh, back. Yeah, maybe Morgo yeah. would know better how things work out here. Yeah, we can we can talk with them about it. Oh, um, before we leave this hall, Angelique, weren't you going to burn down that whole lab? Oh, I thought I set a bonfire before we let. Left it. Oh, okay. You might do several we... bonfires, though, right? But... Yeah, didn't we do that and then shut the door? That's what I thought the plan was. I just okay. That was remember. the plan. I don't know if you actually did it, but yeah. you can do it right now. Well, wait. Maybe we should do that before we leave. Leave. In case there's, like, you know, toxic fumes. That's Stuff true. Stuff explode. Or That's things true. go bad. Yeah. Okay. Let's make that the last thing we do. Okay. That's a good idea, Bonks. I'm glad somebody is thinking. Leave it to the like barbarian. Selfishly. <laughs> um otherwise yeah i think there's one other locked questionable yeah. room 
that hopefully doesn't have something ready to kill us. Like <laughs> so literally you go every back other room. And retrace your steps mm -hmm. back to the, entry the room. entrance chamber. The foyer. Okay. The foyer. I don't like this place. No. It's your vault. But it's I mean, yours now. I, I appreciate that. The ownership. You're going to have to make a lot of improvements here. Yeah. yeah. I have a lot of work. This is not what I could have what I came out here for. Exactly. I'm just saying, you leave it, it to like the a monster. Tropical getaway or something. Think about it. Make it his problem. We Make could actually oasis. theoretically turn this into a fortress outpost, potentially, in the future if we wanted to. But, I mean, I guess that depends on if we stick together after this. Anyways, let's check out this. So, door. we would have to live here in Isolcross. If we made this our base, we don't have to live here. We could claim know. it some way or another. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, well, let's it, just let's, let's check out the last room and and then we'll see what we think. Yeah, that's fine. So you go back to the make a flag. Chamber. We'll plant a flag. Claim it. You go back to the entrance chamber. Yes, we do that. And the words on the wall that read "Welcome to Cell Phone." Visitors, please wait here for an escort. Oh my God, did it change? Do not touch anything without permission like you saw before, seem to be a taunt at you as you unlock the door to the <laughs> opposite room. I need to change that to Bonk's fault. We have touched so many things. Oh, geez. I thought it was just one room. It's not just one room. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Looks like rubble. So is this? Give me a second or, to find yeah. the description for this room, please. Sure. sure. So did that? Did only? Did we use one of the two keys, or is this? Did we, did we use both? So keys? what you found basically is one of the two keys has worked on every door you've tried, uh -huh. and the other key worked on the chest in the drowned. Mm, I see. Uh, curative laboratory. Okay. Okay. That you were in. Okay, so you enter this new chamber and smashed stone tables litter the floor in this chamber, big surprise. Two stone chests built in the, into the floor stand next to each other along the far wall, just up here. The door to the west over here is inscribed with words in draconic runes. A large iron lever is flipped into the up position on the wall next to this door. Guess I'll go read those runes. Uh, yeah, everyone, careful with the chests. I seem to remember the other chests we saw that were already open uh, had some lingering remnants of abjuration magic on them. So just be careful. Hey, I read the sign again. No touching. All right. If read the inscription on the door, it says disease storage authorized personnel only. Takes you right. a few minutes to parse. That seems like so what we need. While Zope is reading this this inscription, what are the rest of you doing? I Not I touching anything. What was that? So, uh, box? I was with him. I'm reading it with okay. him. Okay. Yeah. You're just kind of sitting there twiddling your thumbs. Well, I mean, him and I'm guessing him and I are doing not, that together. Not you, but I oh, mean, sorry. Mr. and yeah. Angelica, okay. who are not reading. Yeah. Trying to resist going toward the chest. Trying to be yeah. a good girl. Yeah, and you've still got Detect Magic up, right? So you can see. Oh, wait, no, you cast Guidance, uh, so you don't have Detect Magic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So technically, you wouldn't have had it up for the flesh column earlier. That's fine, because there was nothing in there. Anyway, so you, you get this message on the door. Mm -hmm. Well, this door says disease storage, authorized personnel only. Uh, we're not authorized, I am. but that's true. It is your vault. Um, did anyone look at these chests? Uh, no. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you want me to take 10 minutes to get the, the magic eyes? Sure. Mm-hmm. 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 This place okay. has been dangerous so far in pretty much every single room, so yeah. yeah. I will Please. ritual Caution. cast Detect Magic then. Okay, and these chests... Hmm, if I check my notes... Here it is. 
um, like the ones in the other room are, uh, they have an aura of abjuration magic radiating from them. Is it faint like the walls and doors, or is it yeah, it's, more it's solid? faint like the walls and the doors and the other chests in the other room. It might be okay to open them. Did we open that other one that had the magic on it? I touched Those were already it and... opened. Yeah, oh. they had sand in them or something. Do you think you could use Mage Hand on a Meester? We all stood back. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not locked. Um, yeah, you still stand back at the opposite side of the room and use Mage Hand to try and open one of these chests. Okay, well, it is uh, locked. Okay. Can Mage Hand, like, use keys and stuff? Um, I think so. Yeah, um, you can try. Open and wait. Yeah, I'll try. I think that that's something Mage Hand can do, yeah. Sweet. Uh, it says you can manip manipulate an object, which I guess means use a key. Use a key, yeah. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll say I'll allow it. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's see. You have the key, so you were able to get it open. Yeah, nothing bad happens. Is there anything inside? Yes, uh, it is packed with fine sand, and okay. there are two vials with a blue powder inside of them. Ooh. We might be done with this fault, y'all. Yay. Um, Easter will also pick up mm, one of the vials should be enough. Did you open both chests or there one? are two chests. So there are two chests. that was just that was just one chest that you opened. Yeah, There's we might as well try the other chest. Easter okay. will try the other chest with Mage Hand. Yep, and you open that one without a problem. And this one is also packed with fine sand and has two more vials hmm. of, of blue powder inside them. Okay. We, hmm, every chest we've seen has been bolted to the floor, hasn't it been? Built into the floor. Built into the floor, yeah. yeah. And these are no exception. I really like the way that they store their biohazard weapons. I wonder if we can get one of those chests off the floor. Mm. I would be like mm. trying to take a wall. Yeah, that's true. But if we just had some kind of strong box, does anyone have like that in their inventory already? Like a strong box that we could just fill with sand and pack away these antidotes and, and vials? I don't have any kind of strong box. I had a bag of sand at one point, but I gave it away. Well, yeah. everyone has a bag of sand, so. Do they? <laughs> My strong box is right here. I mean, there is sand in this chest that you could take with you. I'm, I'm have... joking. I'm joking because I think we have very similar packs. Oh. <laughs> that that both. Yeah, I also have a little bag of sand. Nice. So you could store it in your bag of sand then. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. and yeah, just for and, reference. Yeah, my Tinder box. Also for reference, like this probably doesn't matter anymore because you obviously can't take the chest with you, but they are like two feet on one side, on each side. So they're pretty big. Well, they're pretty big, yeah. yeah does anyone have a box? A Tinder box might be good for this, actually. Hmm. I mm -hmm. have a Tinder box. Do you mind emptying maybe, it out? Maybe we should take it all so it doesn't fall into wrong hands again. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. And we have the antidote if something goes amiss. Right. Um, so. Yeah, let's pack all... Let's pack all these up in your Tinder box, Bonks. You can use mine. That's fine. So yeah, I'll empty my Tinder box and uh, fill it up with some sand and vials of blue deadly disease. All right. Can Shake you it. make a, let's call it a sleight of hand check? check? Anyone who's handling these? Um, sure. Should we do this that with Mage Hand then? Too, I think. <laughs> I mean, we, could just, we could do it remotely with Mage Hand. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to do that? I would okay. be very happy to do that for you if you okay. don't, would, don't want to touch these. I I can if I need to, uh, because we have the antidote right here, so I'm not yeah. super worried. But um, don't really want to, you know, mess yeah, anything yeah. up. Um, 
Do you, wait, so wait. if you're doing it with mage hand, do a sleight mm -hmm. of hand check, but use your uh, spell casting modifier. But isn't that okay. also a disadvantage for you? Uh, it would it be. is. So yeah. yes. I'll just do it. It's okay. fine. I'll just do it. Then a sleight okay. of hand check from you, Fox. Please okay. guide. Right. guide. Guide this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. I feel less bad now. Let's see. There's my D4. I say that in the other campaign now, too. All right. Oh, oh, oh this is not bad. This is a 17. Thank you, Guidance. Got a four on that. <laughs> All right. That's enough. So you're able to carefully, very, very carefully, moving very slowly, pack these vials. And how many are you taking all four of them? All of them. Okay. Packing these four vials into putting... your tinderbox and filling it with sand. Yeah. And packing, putting it away in your pack. Yeah. Okay. I just hate for what happened to our god to happen to us. That's, yeah, I agree. There are worse diseases to catch than the ones you have the antidote for. I'll say that much. It's true. So, so is well, do we want to check out anything else here? We have two doors unopened, at least. I have a question. Was the, uh, the writing, the uh, draconic runes, was that describing the room that we're in or the room that we're next to the room that that uh it's on the door so you get the impression that it's just describing whatever is behind the door so i see hmm. okay maybe we ought to quit while we're ahead i mean i feel like we could check these last areas and but what if there's like an airborne uh, disease. We have the antidote. Uh, but is it an antidote? We have an antidote to everything? one thing. Yeah, to and, only... and to that point, it is a disease laboratory who says they were only working on one. And we only know that we have the antidote to Frigibo because uh, Alro told us. We don't know what the antidote to any other disease in here looks like. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I'd be okay staying for a little longer, or if we need, if we feel like we want to go back, we can leave. We could avoid this door that says disease storage. And That's check a good out idea. The other one. Let's just let's just do that. Yeah. <laughs> is this other door locked? As much as I want to the... pull this lever. <laughs> is that eastern door? Uh, yeah, the eastern door is not locked. Okay. Can I sneakily, quietly? Open it. You can take a peek. Okay. Or are you going to open it all the way up? Um, does anyone want to take a peek with me? No. Easter, will <laughs> Easter will help you with the eastern door. Okay. The easterly door? Haha. Uh -huh. Is that you want me to roll a perception check? Or um, let's do a stealth check first and then a perception check. Okay. Stealth for both of us. Uh, stealth for whoever's actually opening the door. Yeah, I'm, actually, I'm just help yeah. I'm helping so, out. If so. you're looking to, though, maybe sell for you too. Okay, cool. I have disadvantage with everything. Well, oh, that was a natural twenty, though. I also oh, got wait. a natural twenty. Wait, but, but not not two. Uh, oh, yeah, no. but only, but I got a seventeen. Hey, sweet. Okay. All right, team sneaky right here. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You feel pretty confident that you're being pretty quiet. All right. So and now then, you now you have an advantage on your roll. Perception check. I needed it because one of them was a one. Uh, but that is a 14. All rooms have doors. I know, don't they? This one has six. <laughs> I just realized I was muted. I was like, indeed. No, so you uh, kind of peek out the door and you can see that there is a another hallway back here. Mm -hmm. um, and there are three figures kind of oh, no. shuffling quietly. Again. Yeah, it looks like more zombies. Okay, Maybe so it's not at your vault after all. Quietly <laughs> shut the door and uh, more zombies, guys. Are we done here? Yes, please. I'm kind of done with the zombies. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with them either. I just, I'm just so curious. I mean, so if, if you feel like, because you obviously remember things about this place, maybe maybe there's no, something no, else to get. No, no, it's, um, 
I don't think I have anything more to learn here. So can I... you make a history check for me? Yes. 11. Okay. As you're struggling with your curiosity and your desire to kind of, you know, chase after your, you know, these memories that, that keep unlocking, you have a sudden thought and you think back to the last thing you remember and you get the impression that maybe Jelena didn't make it this far. Maybe, maybe she left and um, maybe there isn't really much more for you to find here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking originally. Zof's curiosity doesn't come from their desire to find out more about Jelena and all of that. It's mostly because the Aeorians were wizards, and Zof is a wizard, and Zof is curious what they were up to. Uh, which is why Zof says, "Yeah, I don't think, I don't think there's anything more for me to gain here in terms of my personal journey. It's just." The Aeorians were, they were, they were great legendary wizards. They were so powerful. I just feel like there has to be something more here than blue dust and gold yeah, vials. But, yeah, but so if we, you know, we met Feral Saul. We found his notes. Um, I, I feel like if there was any, anything, anything you'd be interested, he must have had, and I didn't see anything. And I looked. That's true. That's true. It's just the unknown is so compelling. But uh, I can I can leave. We can leave this if the rest of you are ready to go. I don't want to endanger anyone. Hmm. Plus, we are on the clock, so. We are on the clock. Is there a possibility of returning later at a later date when we're not on a time crunch? Perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Nah. Eh. I mean, sorry, guys. I'm not going to march <laughs> another week over here from Siren Lay. No, that's fair. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, that's fair. Once has been enough for me. I'm really tired. This has Let's been get very out of hard here, for then. me. Let's just get out of here. Okay. You're right. All right. So you all uh, exit the Frigid Well Laboratory. Make also your known way as Bonk's fault. For a third time through the entrance chamber, where the words welcome to the soul's vault are still glowing very brightly that. on the wall. Can I change it? <laughs> do you want to try? Is it just like magic or is it or is it just the walls, carved? The walls do have a spell on them, I'm not but, sure what it is. Oh. It's not like carved in, it's like actually magical. There are runes on the wall, it looks like. I'll do it later. After we talk with uh, when you come back, Margo, yeah, make sure that you know transfer of ownership and all that. Okay, so am I gonna go down the hall and torch it? Oh yeah, yeah, that's great. <sighs> well, because I don't know how much good it actually does, considering there's the entire disease storage that's room true. which we didn't go into. You know what might yeah. be better is if we can lock all the doors, lock off the door. And that way, anyone who just stumbles past here won't see that there's a place here to get into. Okay, and then then, then it leaves the possibility for further exploration. If, if on the offhand, Zof gets back. So yeah, I yeah. mean, I can take the keys and kind of lock the doors, uh, close up shop, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we definitely have that power. Um, cool. Yeah, I do. And you uh, can ice over the door again and all that with water. Okay. Yeah, so we'll take some yeah, precautions. So, to do all that. right. So, uh, you exit the Saul's Vault after locking all the doors. Saul's Vault. <laughs> Saul's Vault. Oh and you, you know, take some time to kind of make sure that the door is frozen over again. Are there any other precautions you're going to use to try and obscure this door from view? 
No, but it just sounds like I have another long-term goal that I need to actually claim this place. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least I don't have any extra precautions I can do. So if you guys have, some I'm magical going to means... turn the map off now. Uh, okay. I will just disconnect it. So if you want to switch to the other, are you turning it off or are you yeah. just? I'm gonna disconnect it. Okay. Or actually, I can, I can just turn the camera off. That's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's fine. It's ready either way, so I just need to know. Okay, that's that. fine. That's that's easier. Sure. Um, yeah. So you guys leave the vault. Good job. You found what you came for. Uh, are you going to make your way back immediately? Are you going to take a rest here first? What do you want to do? How are you going to go about this? Well, I mean, we're gonna be. We have to rest on the way, right? We, we should have, have to rest eventually. Anyway, we should hit the road. I yeah, think I we think still we have some going. daylight, so yeah, we should get going and get as much of a head start as we can. Yeah. So we put on our snowshoes and gear again. All right. And how are you? Are you going to travel the same way you did coming? I think that's uh, wise. So as fast as possible with your snowshoes and using um, the so magic. adjust density. Yes. Is that what it's called? Um, Adjust density in combination with, with Tensor's the, floating disk. That's it. All right. So you'll be able to make it back to uh, Sarah and Leia in about a week, you think. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And... Unless it's all downhill, okay. then we can like sled. So. <laughs> That'd be sweet. That was uphill both ways, man. What a journey. How is that possible every time? So the first night. You were the first day out of out of Serenlia or out of um, I'm sorry, Saul's fault. You're heading back for the Serenlia over the eastern sheets, and your your practice. You've done this for a few days, so you kind of know this kind of. It's down to a, a routine, this uh, process of getting across the thin patches of ice, uh, and you make it to nightfall, and you you decide to set up camp. Who's going to take first watch? Last I don't I think I should watch. take any watches because I'm very tired. That's, and I need that to makes sleep. sense. Last time I took first watch, we got attacked by a young rubber ass. <laughs> I, mean, right, I don't, I think, that was, I'll I don't do think it was your fault. I know, but. Enter like or, maybe I'll be more, maybe, more careful this time. Maybe it was because... the Bonk's fault. <gasps> <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. So we'll need what three people to to take ships. I think it's everyone but Easter. Yeah. Over the course of the night. Okay. So Angelica, I'll have you roll a perception check during the watch. Okay, and I got a uh, twelve plus six is eighteen. Okay. Um. Right, so you're sitting there and everyone else is going to sleep and you're starting to feel like kind of tired, like that was a lot. Like the journey here was a lot and the dungeon was scary. There's really creepy things in there and you survived it and you're just thinking about all this and maybe it's because of the horrible, horrific things you saw in that dungeon, but you start to hear whispers on the wind. You feel like someone calls your name and you turn to look, but there's nothing there. Is the rest like, of your watch passes uneventfully. Is it whispers like, Angelica Jacobson, Angelica Jacobson. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that up to your imagination. <laughs> totally is. Who's taking second watch? I can do it. Okay. Uh, during my watch, is it, so did I fully get everything I wanted from the uh, Deeds of the Dawnfather book, or is there more? Did I finish it or not? I guess what I'm asking. You can keep reading it to see if there's more in there. I'll do but that. Uh, I basically I gave you the information that um, you would have got if you had been skimming it. Okay. So yeah. if you want to read in more detail, you can definitely do that. Um, e maybe. Will that take away from my watch duties, or can I just do that while I'm is it doesn't matter. You can, yeah, you can do it while you're okay, standing I'll watch. That. I'll do both. Then. Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh, natural 20 again. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. This is, this is great. Four young Remorazes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a rumbling now. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, 22. Bonks. 22 total. Bonks. Bonks. Bonks fault. Bonks. 
Yeah. That night, you're sitting by the fire. Okay. You take over watch after Angelica goes to sleep. Yeah. And you're watching over your sleeping friends, and you definitely sense a presence nearby. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> okay. But you could have sworn, like, you know you were paying attention, and you know you didn't hear anything All right. coming. So you jump to your feet, and you look around, and there is an older bugbear who's about the same height as you. Okay. And he's wearing a grim expression, and he's glowing. Uh -huh. Do I recognize him? And he says, him? no. Okay. But he says to you, do not fear, Bonks. It is I, Tolkna. Uh, that is, hang on, ah, oh, that's my, oh, no, oh, no way. Oh. Yes. Tol what? Say it again. Tolk not. T O L K N A T H. Is it really you? Yes. It is I who tried to contact you before you left home. It is good to see you, dear boy. And I'll uh, I'll walk towards uh, Tolknath and kind of just, I guess, just kind of get a better uh, look at this figure. Um, like it's it's great to be able to talk to you. Um, yes. What what have you come to see me for tonight? I have been watching your journey, young boy. You are strong and you are curious, and I like that about you. As you have already inferred, the ritual back at home it is not as it seems, and I have come to warn you that your tribesmen are in danger. I knew it. I, I knew yes. that there was danger in there. That's yes. why I left. It was smart of you to leave, and it is smart of you to travel, and it is smart of you to make friends. But I am afraid you are not yet powerful enough to save them, young one. So they can be saved. There is I, hope. I am hoping that you are the key. But if you were to return now, I'm afraid all would be lost. Why is that? Continue, continue your travels. Gain power, learn, grow. I have come to tell you that I will aid you as much as I can. I am watching over you. Know that I am always with you, and I will always be with you should you need me just for a moment. Thank you, Tolknath. I will do that. I'll follow your instructions. And he smiles. And you feel that connection, like, and the name is so familiar to you. This is someone that, this is your ancestor. This is someone that, that has come before you. Mm -hmm. And you want to ask questions, but as he smiles at you, he slowly just fades away. And all that's left is snow and wind and the quiet of the campfire in the night. OK. I think that depending on when it is during the watch, uh, Bonks would probably just sort of um, contemplate for the majority and sort of think about it and just like, he's, he's sort of like in a better mood if he wasn't already because he's like, I knew it, you know, like vindication type of thing. Like he's like, oh, I knew I was on the right path, but he kind of needed that affirmation because he's he was sort of like mm, not really well guided. So he sort of sits and contemplates a little bit and kind of just thinks about everything that was spoken to him until the next watch. Okay. And uh, that means self is taking third watch. Yep. Uh, hmm, hmm. Anything interesting happen, Bonks? Oh. Uh, yeah. I uh, I mean, I don't really know how to say this, but uh, I uh, met with one of my ancestors. What do you mean? Uh, he... Uh, they came to me while I was while I was out here and um and spoke to me. Uh, Zoph looks around for like footprints or anything. What you mean like <laughs> physically? Um, not exactly. Uh, I guess more of a what you might call a, a spirit, um, or a like a, a ghost of some kind. Kind of like what you were saying in the about in Bonk's fault. 
What that, you know, there could be a ghost or something. It could be haunting us. But this is a good one. Oh, yeah. I didn't say that. This is a good one. Well, He's that's helping not us. totally strange. Yeah, I think it's refreshing. Well, what did he have to say? Anything he just, of import? Yeah. Spirits don't generally wander up from the grave for no reason. Yeah, he, he just uh, wanted to tell me that he believes in what I'm doing and he's he's going to help me um, and guide me from now on. I'm sorry, did you say this was someone of importance to you? Yeah, it was one of my, my ancestors. Huh, well, that seems like a landmark occasion. Yeah, I think, uh, I think somehow um, this place is bringing a lot of uh, information for us and, you know, memories and, and all that. Um, it's not often that one gets to meet their own ancestors. Well, yeah. the ones that are dead anyways. I've tried. I've tried a lot to, to speak with them. Um, it's part of the reason why I left my village, at least, you know, try and seek them out and find a way to to help my people. So this well, that is must have been time. a wise move if that finally elicited the response you were looking for. It seems like it. It seems like I'm finally getting something somewhere with my, my journey. Well, good for you. You're going to be able to sleep after all the excitement? I'll it's try. My watch. I'll definitely um, try. I'm a little excited okay. right now. Get some rest. Okay, thanks. And I think he's gone, so you don't have to worry about him, uh, you know, Oh, well, I mean, if he's you. your ancestor and he's here to help you, then I wasn't worried to begin with, so. You shouldn't be, but in case, I didn't know if you were, you know, scared of these things or anything, or. No, spirits don't so much bother me. There's a, there's a way to the world that can be explained, and spirits fit within that pattern, so there's nothing to fear. Okay, well, other than that, I didn't, uh. There's no danger out here tonight from what I saw, so let us, All right. let us know. Well, I'll keep an eye open till dawn, so okay. you get some rest. Good night. And then Bonks will try and sleep. He'll do his best. Very good. I'll have to roll a uh, natural one for three. <laughs> All right, so... Despite what you told Bonks about, you know, spirits being in the natural order of things and that you weren't afraid, once Bonks goes to sleep and you're the only one awake and it's still really dark and really cold and really windy, every sound you're jumping it's and you're looking eerie. and you're so distracted by every little noise, half of them are in your head. You you have no idea. But the rest of the night passes uneventfully and you all can mark a long rest. Does that go to the exhaustion too? I don't remember. It does. Oh, awesome. It's rid yes. of one Great. level of exhaustion. Yeah. Which is all we needed. Yay. Hey. Oh, empty spell slots. Yay. <laughs> what a sight. All right. The so next morning you pack up your camp. Mm, there's the anything you want button. to talk about or do before you start making your way. I feel a lot better. Thanks for letting me sleep, guys. Yeah, no problem. It wasn't too scary. Wow. Well, uh... <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. It's a pretty eventful night, actually. There are so many weirder actually. things to say. That was one of them. <laughs> but we're all okay. Yeah. Yes, we're all Did okay. Did you hear stuff, Zach? I thought I heard somebody calling me. Who's Zach? I don't know. Yeah. Must, be a, next, must be someone, Hunter's friend. Wait, who's Hunter? <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just did that. Um... <laughs> So uh, Bonks will respond. Uh, I don't know who Zach is, but <laughs> uh, he'll say, "Yeah, I talked to I talked to one of my ancestors last night." So yeah, oh. that was great. I wonder if he knew me then. I don't. I don't know. He didn't. Somebody was. Somebody was calling me. Nobody would, was there though. 
Would there be any reason for Bonks' ancestors to know you? Was our campsite haunted? That. You have to tell me if our campsite was haunted. I think it Only was. Only a little bit. Yeah, really weird. Maybe we are under, camped over some kind of burial ground or something. Must have been. Let's it was go. a great. Creepy. It was a great place to camp, everyone. This is the perfect <laughs> spot. We should do it again. Like I said, it wasn't scary at all. <laughs> I'll go. take. I'll take the whole watch. <laughs> all right, you pack up and you start making your way across the thin sheets once again. Okay. Now, as you're traveling. Do you have someone actively keeping watch while you are traveling during the day, or are you all pretty much focused on getting across these thin patches of ice as safely as possible? Do you want to serve as our scout to scout? Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, then can I just have you roll one perception check for the day? OK. I'm good at it. I got a plus six. Ooh, so that's a 22. Dang. Pretty high for a level two character. Yeah. Say. Above average. So as you're traveling on your second day, which I have to actually mark on my calendar that the day is past. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Um, as you make your way across the 10 sheets on your second day of travel, Angelica, you're keeping watch and it's a little difficult because like it's like a constant storm in this place it's ridiculous and exhausting and it's like wind and snow everywhere uh, but you can see in the distance as you make your way a slim figure in a red cloak <laughs> Wait, who's Santa Claus? Are there reindeer? Slim figure, slim. Okay. <laughs> Could be Krampus. Mrs. Claus. Krampus is pretty slim. Guys, look over there. Do you see something? No. No, I just see snowflakes. There's, I, I think something's out there. Do we something need to like someone? Should we talk to them? Yeah, yeah, I think they're coming our way. All right. Do and you we, want to talk we, to them, or do you want to, to, or do we want to avoid them? How many do you know. see? Just the one. Oh, well, let's, if it's just one, we should then. be fine. Hi okay. there, I'm Zof, Zofatol Zephyrex. <laughs> you can call me Zof. <laughs> Hi, hello. <laughs> uh, so as you approach, it's uh, a woman, a human woman who has kind of long red hair and a red cloak. Red hair and a red cloak, that's the way it goes. And- uh, Not just for self is what you're saying. She have yeah. a basket. Basket, no. No, um, <laughs> and when she spots you, she looks like her eyebrows raised and she comes over and she looks very like, like thankful to find someone else out here. She says, Oh, I'm so glad to meet other people, other non wild folk people out here. Hello. Hello. And Hi. like I said, my name is Zofdal Zephyrax. You can call me Zof. These are my oh, friends. Uh, I'm Easter. Uh, Bonks, Angelica, Easter. yes. Bonks. And you, miss? It's tall. Oh, like, you, like, like you said, like you said, I'm Angelica. Oh, I apologize. The wind is very loud. Uh, my name is Selra. Selra Rastad. Selra? Yes, I... I've been out here exploring the ruins of Eor, but I... Well, I've gotten lost, you see. The rest of my party unfortunately met their demise, and I've been trying to return to Balin Post by myself. But it's very easy to get turned around in here. Well, we're there. not headed that way. We're going to Sirenlea. Sirenlea. It's in the same direction. Would you would you mind terribly if I tagged along? Can I roll inside uh, on this person? Yeah, yes. I was literally about to ask that. 
Uh, meanwhile, yes. Bonks will Bonks will say to uh, Selra. Bonks is gonna say this. Or, sorry, why do I keep what making I... myself? All bonks? right, tell me what I'm saying. Just, just I am me, and I'll and I'll do it for you. That's the second time I've done that today. Well, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, Zof will say to Selra. Uh, Ball and post, you say. Uh, we're he- like uh, my friend said. We're headed back to Sarah and Leah, but uh, Ball and post is a place of interest to me. Uh, but perhaps it's too many, as a sure. destination. So uh, I'd be interested in hearing more about it from you, at the very least. Yes, yes, I, I'd be very happy to tell you anything you'd like to know. Um, my inside check was a fifteen, by the way. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Well, she rolled a one. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to IM you guys. Okay. Sure. Hey, Spurs. I keep using the wrong keyboard. (laughs) Well, if she was dressed in green, I'd nickname her Celery. That's a second. There's a lot of so, uh, notes that I am. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, sorry, I'm not saying anything, but like. My ability to continue the conversation is, I, like, I think, going to be like depending Sorry, I just on what it. I find out here. Yeah, I sent it. There we go. Uh-huh. Ah, hmm. Hmm. So she says, "I'm very happy to share any information about Bellin Post that you wish to know. Do you have any questions?" But yeah, um, Easter kind of circles around to start surrounding this woman and like raises an eyebrow at Bonks. Yeah. Bonks kind of like nods and confirms that there's something going on. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, Zof says, well, yeah, actually, I, I understand that at least at one point in time, there were some mages that took up residence in Ball and Post. Are they still there? Oh, yes, I'm one of those mages. Oh. Well, that's convenient. Um, that's who I'd be looking to speak with, I think. Well, you found one. Must be your lucky day. There, there is something I would want to know before we es- agree to escort you back to Bowen Post. Yes. What actually happened to your party? What do you mean? It was a pretty simple question. Well, I'm not sure how much you know about Valen Post, you see, but, well, it's run by the Cerberus Assembly. We mages like like myself are sent out in groups to uh, explore the ruins of Aeor and, and try to come up with some magical items, something that can be researched and, and potentially duplicated. And this all, this work all happens in Bellin Post, you see. I was sent with my party into the ruins of Aeor and uh, in the process of trying to come up with, with a magic item to, to bring back to Bellin Post for our superiors, uh, they unfortunately lost their lives. Isn't that basically the same thing she told us before. How did they die? What killed them? Oh, well, you see, she kind of takes a step back. From the guys. Easter? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, you guys are like, what, one on each side of her? Kinda, yeah. yeah. So she'll take a step away from all of you, basically. You must, the thing you must understand is that the rules of Bowling Post, well, they've left my hands quite tight. 
I I may have thought so that they met an end. It wasn't really a big deal. They were all criminals, you see. But that you you just said you're also a criminal. Like that's no. a, what? The, well, I am desperate. I'm desperate to get to back to Valenpost and bring bring this treasure that I have found. Ugh, well, you can do it I... on your on your own, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm sorry, lady, but even if you do have information that could be useful to us, look, what's to say you won't kill us too, right? I mean. Right. We're just going to go that way. Putting aside the fact that you, you've killed your companions, um, I think we have to part ways. I think my friends are right. Now, hold on just a moment. I never said that I killed them. I just didn't help them. You said you saw to it that they died. By not assisting them, of course. She kind no. of, her expression darkens a little bit, and she says, if you're not here to escort me, or if you're not going to allow me to go with you, then I'm afraid you have learned too much, and I cannot let you leave without me. And Listen, she takes lady. out her wand, yeah. and I think it might be time to roll initiative. Oh, okay. You don't want to mess with the trashers. Yeah. Let's yeah. right. say, we've killed our Rammer has. Well, <laughs> A baby. Right. Baby. I'm not going to say that part. Oh. Also, that she lies to me. Dead. I'm going to lie to her. <laughs> I can't believe she rolled a one. I'm so mad about oh, that. Oh, this is great. Yeah, get her, guys. <laughs> Trash her. I'm so mad about that. Ah, poop. We're going to do this one of uh, Theater of the Mind. Yeah. Because it's basically just a big space. Yeah. That's fine. I think. We're kind of like in a Y position around her with Easter yeah. and Bonks at two forks of the Y. And yeah, that makes Angelica, sense. yeah. Yeah, I agree. OK, uh, initiatives? Uh, 15. 12. 17. 19. Oh, totem oh, no. time. Totem time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You going first is a really good thing, though, if you can drop your totem and stuff. It's a very good spell. You know, I feel like I prepared this encounter, and I tried to, maybe this is like the, the DM, like, preaching to the choir, but I feel like I tried to account for every situation, and this is not a situation I account for. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Which one? Which All right, one? Angelica, one? you are up first. Going. Which one? Which one? Which one? All right, it's time to bust out that unicorn. What? Whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, Charlie. <laughs> uh, I've Charlie got it. I've got it up here if you want me to read it. The unicorn spirit lends its protection to those nearby. You and your allies gain advantage on all ability checks made to detect creatures in the spirit's aura. In addition, if you cast a spell using a spell slot that restores hit points to any creature inside or outside the aura, each creature um, also regains hit points equal to my druid level. That is handy. OK. So basically, a healing buffer. OK, so you cast a spirit totem as a bonus action. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Um, so how far away am I from her? So I'm going to assume you guys are all maybe 10 feet. I don't know if she's like inside the circle, 10 feet away from each of you. OK. Does that sound about right for you guys? Yeah. Then I'm going to turn myself into a p 
Panther. Oh, Biako. Yes, Biako's a tiger. Okay, so Biako uses the Panther's, Panther's stack block. Stack block. <laughs> yeah, so he has a pounce. All right, um, so make okay, sure you have bring it up. Stats up. All right. Anything else? Would you like to move? You've used your action and bonus action at this point. Oh, I think she's frozen. She's just really excited about reading the Panther. There she is. Oh, my, my I didn't realize I was. <laughs> you were frozen for a second. Um, so do I get to attack or do I have to wait till next time? You have to wait till next time because you use your action to transform, but you do still have your movement if you'd like to move. OK, um, so like right now, I'm kind of behind Zof. Is that I'd right? I'd say you guys are side by side. OK, so I'm going to. Uh, Move to the other side of Easter. I'm going to stand right by Easter. Okay. Okay. Cool. Then it's Bonks' turn. Okay. Well, I'm obviously not hidden. Uh, so I can't do my <laughs> thing, I don't think. Yeah, this isn't a surprise. So, okay. No. So I'm going to I'm gonna um, shift a little bit over to widen the distance between uh, Zofanis, we're sort of triangular, I guess, in our surrounding her. Um, and then I'll attack from 10 feet away. Uh, oh, attack. That is. Oh, and I'm also going to fly into a rage. Uh, that is a 12. All right. She casts a spell and it misses. Okay. Would you say okay. a shield appears? <laughs> Okay, got it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, so you basically, like, I don't, what did you say you were attacking with? Uh, great Axe. Your Great Axe. So you, you swing with your Great Axe, and it kind of so it spins across this, like, yeah. she puts up a hand, and there's this, like, arcane shield that comes up. Okay. It just spins across that. Saw that one coming. That's fine. Oh, but that's it, though. I'm done. Sorry, I'm doing masks. <laughs> That's okay. For shields. Okay. Uh, Easter. All right. Uh, Easter is going to uh, hex her and okay. curse her intelligence. Mm -hmm. Like, kind of basing the assumption that she's some kind of wizard. Um, and then let off an Eldritch Blast. All right. That's going to, yeah, with a shield, that's going to miss big time. That's a six on die. What's what is it after your bonus? Uh, it's like a, a eleven or something. Okay, hey, yeah, no, this is okay. Uh, then it's her turn, and let's see. Yeah, I think she's going to. It would have been good to look up these spells ahead of time, but you know, did I think to do that? No. No, I have done that. If she's with the Cerberus, this could be scary. I'm currently I, very worried. I thought about using my turn to cast sleep and just have us all leave, but then I realized we put ourselves in a really bad position for sleep. You would probably with knock sleep, us all out. Can you not yeah. select? Is it just an area? You just say everything? Yeah. Here? Okay. It's like within 20 feet, and we're all within 20 feet of her. So, oh, yeah, we sure are, yeah. She's going to reach her hands out toward Angelique and Zilf since they're, oh no, Angelique and Easter since they're standing together. And she's going to cast Burning Hands. Ah. So she reaches her hands out like this with her hands and her fingers spread and fire shoots out. And I need both of you to make dexterity saving throws, please. Nine for me. It's going to hurt. Uh, Dex. Uh, it's a big old eight. Those are both fails. So you both take 12 fire damage. And I'm a panther, so I can't use my absorb elements. Can you not oh. cast spells? As the one time. Is that, is that like a circle a, of the moon thing? It's a, a high level thing. ability. Or a high level thing, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's 
12 fire damage. Okay. And she just starts laughing. And she's going to turn. Uh, let's see. And she's going to run out of the circle past Zoth. So I'm going to take an opportunity attack then. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, oh, yeah, you got them long arms. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, it's not going to hit because that's a oh. 10. Yep, that misses. So she runs different dice out of the circle and like 20 feet past so. Okay. 20 feet, you say? Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> so it's your turn. Okay, uh, Zoth is going to say uh, out into the snowstorm, well, you're not a very nice wizard. Um, <laughs> and she took her turn, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But Zoth saw her use the shield spell. Zoth knows the shield spell. So instead of casting magic missile, which shield can completely deflect, uh, Zoth will instead use magnify gravity uh so um Zof's staff crackles with energy and then she needs to make a uh constitution saving throw which what's the deep what's the dc uh 14. she can't be that good at constitution though no, she fails Ooh. ah so this works for the first time aha <laughs> so she will take Close to maximum damage, nice. uh, 15 average. force damage um, as gravity just crushes inward on her. Um, and then... You said, uh, sorry, 15? 15, yep. Her speed is halved until the end of her next turn. And that's all the relevant information. So her speed is halved and she takes that damage. Okay. So you cast the spell, and you can just see her as she's trying to, like, run away, basically. And, like, the spell pulls her down, and it really, really hurts. And you hear, like, crack as, like, one of her legs breaks under the force of this gravity. And she just screams out. Angelica. Well, um, my panther is still standing with one hitch. Hit oh, point. nice. <laughs> So let's see what he can do. All pounce. right. Yeah. Pounce. Yeah. There it is. Uh, at least 20 feet straight forward. Okay. 20 feet, you say? Yeah. Target must <laughs> succeed on a DC 12. Well, don't you have to roll the hit first? Yeah. I'm if just, you hit. I'm reading, I'm reading it. I'm reading it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So do I use, I use his? Yes. Okay. His strength. His, his strength, I okay. Strength or dex, I don't know what Panthers use, but I would just. So try. that is a 16 then. All right, so she's going to cast shield again, and it misses. Ah. Oh. Oh, dang it. Poop. I really wanted to knock her down. I really wanted you to knock her down. Dang. Oh. Oh no, she's not prone. Never mind. Nope. No. No. She kind of hears you coming and she turns around and reaches out a hand at the last minute and another arcane shield comes down and you kind of just scratch right off the bat. Okay. Fox? All right. I will chase after her and make an attack. And um, just after seeing her scorch my friends, I will make this a reckless attack. And I will try and break through that shield. That is going to do it, I think. That's an 18 and 19 on die. So that is a 24 to hit. Yep, that hits. OK. Here we go. That is, ooh, let's see. That is. Uh, 14 plus 2? Is that my rage damage? 
So 16 damage. How do you want to kill her? Oh, um... Well, do you want to kill her? Do you want to kill her? Oh, yeah. I mean... She's evil. You have taken her glasses off. Yeah, so. I'm very upset. And she is evil. We really... I mean... I mean, she definitely tried she to kill us. She is also lost out in the tundra anyways. So... I if mean, you're raging... She's yeah. going to be in a bad you way. Have a point. If, you have a ra if you're raging... And you want to be able to make this decision, you'll probably have to either come out of your rage or maybe no. I think I think I would I think I would kill her. Um, okay. I think I don't I don't think I would try to mitigate the blow at all. So I think I would just come straight overhead and like break through the shield and just go right through like her shoulder and down her body with the great axe. Okay. Uh, you do, and the shield just explodes in this like beautiful and like spectacular array of just shards of arcane like crystal flying out into the ether and your great axe lands in her kind of the crook between her neck and her shoulder and as it makes contact she reaches out instinctively and grabs onto your your furs that you wear mm -hmm. and tears fill her eyes and she says i just I just needed to survive. And she dies. And Easter, who had been like starting to make the motions of the sleep spell, goes, Ugh. And Bonks is like pretty tense next to her body and just kind of tries to calm down. It's like, wow. Her red cloak was really foreshadowing. <laughs> she was evil. She lied to us. She tried to kill you guys. She was a murderer. It's true. Hey, did she say since she had something cool? It's she With did. That, I she can did. Check her Detect body. Detect but... magic. <laughs> uh, I guess I guess Angelica can do it because it'll take me ten minutes. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just... All right. You can cast it normally. Uh, I never prepare my rituals though because oh, I if I don't okay. prepare my rituals, I can prepare my entire list of spells. Interesting. So. Go for it, Angelica. All right. At least for now, anyways. <laughs> yeah, she does have something magical on her person. Okay, so I'll rummage through her person. Yep. Um, she has a pair of goggles that are radiating with some kind of magic. These? And I'll point at them to Angelica. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like, weird, I'll huh? I'll like look through them. They're leather framed and they have purple crystal lenses. When I look through them, does anything happen? They're pretty cool looking. They look good over your spectacles. Do they? What did you say? Purple wet lenses? Purple crystal lenses. Yeah. Um, they definitely seem like something will happen if you wear them, but you also huh. get the feeling like you might have to spend some time with them. First. Okay, so I'll just kind of like, hmm. well, I mean, let's um, I guess she doesn't have a need for them anymore, but maybe this is what she was trying to bring back. Maybe if we go to that place, we can poke around a little bit. If you're interested, so if sounds like you had to maybe uh, want to take after I we finish it might our have errand. Been a lead, and it still might be, but I think I'd have to proceed with a bit more caution than I initially thought. If it's the Cerberus that's there. What is well? While I'm having this conversation, I also wanted to see. Does he have like a journal or anything else, like a pack of any kind, or? Hey, uh, what's what's the Cerberus? Oh, it's a group of, I think Zof would know this much at least, like the basics, right, Kay? Mm -hmm. Being Making someone from check. where Zof is from. Yeah, because the Cerberus Assembly is a joint Delian Empire um, organization. Right, but Zof is from like a military town on the other side of the mountain. So anyways, Making natural 20. <laughs> oh, okay, well, there so it is. yeah. Sweet. I mean, even from your meta knowledge, you can probably just tell Box what you know about okay. the Or Easter. Both all of us. Well, or whoever Cerberus, was asking. It was Easter. The Cerberus Assembly is a group of uh, wizards and mages from the Dwendalian Empire. And, well, I mean, they definitely have their, their hooks in a lot of affairs within the Empire itself. But, um, I don't know, there are rumors that they have, you know, 
more nefarious plots afoot. Um, and they definitely aren't a fan to people who are from where I'm, or they aren't friends of people who are from where I am. So hmm. sounds troubling. And you want to meet with these people? Well, I thought I needed to go to Bowen Post because of what I learned when we were in Saul's vault, but Bonk's vault. Right, Bonk's vault. I just I don't know if I if that's the path I pursued. There's other options, but if that's the path I pursue, I just will have to be more careful than I expected. Yeah. Well, you know, if you pursue that path, you won't go there alone. You'll have us backing you up, and, and look at what. Of course. You know, look at what we can accomplish when we're all together. And I like kind of cover the body, seeing Easter sort of <laughs> your miss. I'm like, you want the snow? Yeah. I'm like, sorry, Easter. <laughs> forewarned is really forearmed. Upset. The group of you would you'd still come with me if because I have places, I have of things course. I need to learn, but I wasn't sure if the group of you had other places and things you needed to do. Not as far as I know. I'm just looking for the perfect gift for my fiance. I haven't found it yet. Easter pulls out the eye again, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not anywhere near romantic. We have an eye and a set of goggles now. <laughs> That's true. Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> so she has nothing else on her person at all? Like nothing? OK. Uh, I just added a bunch of spaces to my notes because I pressed the wrong space bar. <laughs> nice. It's okay. been that kind of night. So I'll just, I guess, cover the body with snow and be like, well. She has like, maybe two days worth of rations on her. Like her wand isn't special or anything like that? It's just like a focus? and It's just a normal focus. Okay. We have plenty of rations. Well, yeah, so too. if the group of you are willing to, I don't know, continue traveling with me, I, I suppose I should tell you what it is I'm doing. If, if you're you, if you're comfortable with that, I think so. We've uh, we've saved each other's lives a couple times now, and if you're going to come with me, you might as well be informed. I feel like not knowing would be more dangerous to you than knowing. Okay, well, shall listen. we build a campfire? <laughs> sure. Can we build it somewhere else. Yeah, let's get yeah. a little ways away, set up yeah, a campfire, and then I'll explain. Sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you can do that. You can travel somewhere and then wait till nightfall. And Let me uh, interject here before we do that. It is. Uh, not That's true. We've been going. Yeah, it's a little um, bit late. Do we have any? Um, like, there's a certain spot that I want to hit before we end tonight. Sure. Okay. I'm, I'm okay going. And it's coming up. So yeah. if we have like maybe ten more minutes. I, I have nothing, nowhere to be. Yep. I'm good to go. I'm fine. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on it. Do we have time for me to yes. spin Zove's yarn a bit? Yeah. OK, so uh, once we're all settled down at a campfire and getting restful, uh, you guys will have noticed that Zof is kind of a little bit of a ball of nervous energy as we're starting to prepare all of this. Um, I think Bonk will try and like, rest his hand on his shoulder to kind of let him know it's OK. Um, yeah, once once we're all kind of settled down and, and Bonks has sort of comforted them, uh, Zof will take in a deep breath and say, right, um, I've never had to explain this before, uh, so I'm not really sure where to start. Um, first of all, I haven't told you any of you where I'm from. Uh, Bonks, like you, I'm from, from Jorhas. Uh, really? <laughs> um, for Easter, for your reference, that's the country. I think it's on the east side of the continent. Um, you like that direction? Yeah. There's a there's a bit of a conflict between the west side of the mountains and the east side of the mountains, the Empire and, and Jorhas, which is why it's just best to kind of keep where you're from a secret sometimes. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Um, within Jorhas, there's a... Well, there's a, a certain religion, or it's not quite a religion so much as it's a, a group of people who pursue knowledge and um, 
you know, science and understanding of, of the world and the universe. Um, but they follow this unifying principle um, and patron known as the Luxon. Um, and the Luxon, uh, well, there, there's lots of stories about what the Luxon is, but um, the Luxon is a, to the people of Jorhas, it's a deity who has granted them uh, sort of an interesting life cycle, which is to say that death is not the ultimate end for the followers of the Luxon. Um, their, their souls, their spirits, whatever you would call them, uh, can be reincarnated if they are uh, of a certain devout status. And those memories eventually wake up, awaken within the, um, they call them the consecuted. Um, so the memories awaken within the consecuted and then they begin to remember their past lives. And uh, I am currently traveling in search of mine. Uh, my name in my past life was Jelena. I learned that in Saul's Vault. That's what you meant. And uh, it's a little bit rare for someone like me. Zof kind of gestures to their scales and, and dragon-like visage. It's a little bit rare for someone like me to be a, a consecuted soul, but or, or so I've been told. Um, but I just, I need to learn more about myself in my past life. And I don't have very many clues. Ballin Post is one. Uh, other Aeorian ruins are another. But uh, we can discuss that more, I guess, when we uh, finish up this current mission. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. Wow. Deep. Very interesting. Kind of neat. Do and, you, uh, are you ever going to remember, like, other artists besides Jelena? Or was that the only one you had? That's the only set of memories that I've felt so far, at the very least. Hmm. But some people who have been consecuted um, have lived many lifetimes. Uh, the current uh, ruler of Jorhas, I believe, has lived many or so, you know, people say. So maybe you could have met Sol. Perhaps. In a previous life. Uh, at the very least, Jelena. Um, I was there in the vault at one point. Um, I was with another traveling companion, but we were looking for something in the Aeorian ruins and uh, it wasn't in Saul's vault. That's all I know. So they went to look elsewhere in the crash site. But Jolian wasn't an Aeorian. No, uh, she was Jorhasian like myself. Ah, uh -huh. okay. And so you've basically been trying to follow her footsteps? Yeah, I'm retracing my steps, so to speak. I see. Okay, retracing your steps, that's true. It is, it is you. <laughs> I see. Well, thank you for sharing with us. Uh, that's pretty interesting. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the sort of thing that is, well, it's not wide knowledge for a reason. So I would ask that you sort of keep it, you know, to yourselves, unless it's necessary to divulge the information. But Yes, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. That's what I am. That's my task. Well, I'll keep it between us. Um, and yeah, I mean, let us know if you need help with it in any way. Probably really interesting to you, huh, Bonks? Uh, yeah, it is very interesting to me. Um, yeah, Bonks is like listening really intently when you're like, you know, there's a religion, and he's like, oh yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Uh, I am. I, I didn't train very much in the um, you know, religious practices of the worship of the Luxon, but I know a little bit. If you want to know more later, I can tell you. Of course. I will readily accept that. Um, are you going to go back to Jorhas sometime in the near future, do you think? Uh, you can roll an insight check. Sure. <laughs> That's a 16. Uh, Zof gets a little bit flustered, kind of looks to the ground uh, suspiciously and says, uh, yeah, someday, maybe. I think noticing that, because um, Bonks kind of would have the same answer. <laughs> so he knows that there's maybe that's a sore topic. Yeah, I see. Well, <laughs> maybe next time we'll go together and we can visit both of our homes. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Right after we go back to the Saul's vault, right? 
Bonk's fault. <laughs> but no, I think it'd probably be sooner than that, Easter. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. All right. Well, as you have this conversation and, uh, you know, learn about Zoe's motivations, I actually think that's probably a great place to call it for some days. And we'll save the thing by this planning, which we'll for, for next week. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thanks, everyone, for uh, tuning in to watch. And make sure you come back next week for the uh, exciting conclusion of this arc of And That Heroes of Alexandria, uh, the last episode before we go back to our main campaign. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's exciting. Good night, everyone. Night. Good night. Good night.